evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Laura Yamada. Paula Akana has the night off. Obothels, graffiti, crime. While these sound like problems confined to Oahu's Chinatown, they have spread to other communities. KITV4's Paul Drews went on a tour tonight to see one area affected by these crimes. Paul? Laura, you'll find something happening at all hours of the day or night in the Ala Moana area, and that includes brothels. And that's also why some concerned residents are trying to clean it up to keep crime out. Larry Hurst and his fellow citizens patrol the Ala Moana and Kaka'ako areas, cleaning up graffiti wherever they find it. We found out that if we remove it, either remove it or paint over it, that it doesn't come back. After a while, the people think, someone's watching. But what is harder to spot and even more difficult to clean up are brothels in this busy section of Honolulu. Kaka'ako is a problem area, it's slowly but surely turning into Hawaii's or Oahu's red light district. Unlike prostitutes that walk the streets, those who work in brothels do so hidden away, many times hidden behind massage parlors and hostess bars. In this section of Honolulu, there are 24-hour restaurants and stores, and according to those who know this area well, that's not the only thing you can get 24 hours a day here. What we've been noticing, especially in districts like um, Kaka'ako, Ward, um, Waikiki, definitely in downtown, is a burgeoning of 24-hour um, massage parlors, which are brothels, um, and other sex industry um, havens. This was a brothel busted by Honolulu police. And while the business is gone from its current location, the problem has not disappeared. Our law says they have to be busted three times before any action can ta be taken. So if they get two busts, well, they change their name and move to another location. So as the Citizens Patrol cleans up the streets, they're hoping stronger enforcement and stricter laws will shut down brothels and clean up their neighborhood. Now, there are a number of measures being worked on at the state capitol this legislative session that would impose stricter penalties for prostitution, including Johns who may frequent brothels. Laura?